we're starting our Ubuntu machine. Let's go load up the files from the CD into the memory and from there we will install the operating system into our virtual box environment. During this time, uh, VirtualBox will, will create a, an image or a file where it will store all the state of the machine, all the files and everything so we can grab the, this image and use it in another computer. As you can see, the installation is starting. So we will just have to wait a couple of minutes before the installer show in front of us. Yeah, we see the initial desktop of Ubuntu 19.04 and we click on install Ubuntu. So we don't worry that anything will be modified on our current system because we are working in a virtual environment. Yeah, it's like a sandbox provided by VirtualBox. We choose our keyboard layout and just click on continue. We would like to continue with a normal installation and to try to download updates while installing Ubuntu. By the way, uh, the virtual box is already using the network from our uh, host machine. So it can connect to the network and download updates. Now we have a previous version installed. So we would like to erase it and just click install now. And we are warned that uh, to be created this new partition and to be formatted our SD drive and to, to be used extended for file system for the Linux installation. Here we choose the time zone. By the way, most of the options we choose here uh, can be additionally set up while we are having already installed the system. We type our name here and the uh, computer's name and we can also uh, type a password. All right, so we type our password and we click on continue. We see that right now the installation is copying the default files on our virtual hard drive. So the inspiration will take some time, but after a few minutes it will be ready and we can we will have uh, our system ready to be used. All those uh, operations like uh, copying and configuring is done from memory to memory this time. So if you have a fast enough computer, it won't take you um, so much time. But keep in mind that the image is around 1.5 gigabytes. So we're talking about a lot of files and uh, settings. So while installing uh, VirtualBox, keep in mind that uh, it requires first uh, hardware support. Uh, which will, you will enable from your BIOS setup. Usually a KVM is used uh, as a hypervisor in uh, Ubuntu in order to uh, be able to run uh, virtualized uh, software and hardware. And um, also uh, while installing VirtualBox, I recommend uh, downloading directly the binaries uh, from its site. And because uh, they are updated constantly and it's uh, if you have a different kernel or uh, something out of the ordinary they will probably have it covered in their uh, latest version which is not usually updated uh, so fast in the default Ubuntu repositories so you can just click uh, here on Ubuntu 18.04 and uh, you'll get the package. Afterwards you can install it uh, via the Debian Package Manager. So you enter the terminal after you've downloaded this package of course. And it will be in your downloads. And uh, you can just type uh, sudo uh, date package minus i and then the name of the package. Let's say virtual box. Uh, 
dot deb and it will install the latest driver uh, on your computer for VirtualBox. Most of the time you also need to restart your computer before starting using the virtualized uh, software. All right, now let's go back to the installation. It's almost uh, finished where it's copying its uh, final files. By the way, if you are uh, trying the installation via uh, Windows, in Windows 10, they uh, upgraded its support for virtualization. Now uh, you can grab and install Ubuntu uh, directly within the Windows system for Linux. Uh, so it can be done from uh, Microsoft Store and you have a lot of distributions to choose from, uh, from which one you would like to run. As you can see in this uh, tutorial from Microsoft, you just have to wait a little bit until the distribution finished installing. But the benefit uh, if you are using uh, Windows uh, host system is that uh, um, it uh, will be a type 1 hypervisor, which means that uh, your Ubuntu subsystem uh, will communicate directly with the hardware uh, of your uh, computer machine, uh, which means that there will be almost uh, zero latency. So I advise you if you're using Windows 10 just to um, use this uh, Windows subsystem for Linux in order to install different versions uh, of uh, uh, Linux, which are actually even optimized uh, for this purpose. So th those images are especially made uh, to be running smoothly under Windows. In contrast, while using VirtualBox, first we have one abstraction layer, um, which abstracts all the hardware, and then uh, we're using uh, special registers of the processor in order to create this virtualization. So. Um, Theoretically, it should be a little bit uh, slower than using directly uh, the hypervisor as uh, is uh, via uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. At the end of the installation, Ubuntu installer is uh, removing part of its uh, temporarily installed libraries. And that's it. Congratulations, uh, this is the Ubuntu system installed. From here you can open up uh, Terminal and install your latest updates and also configure your system and uh, basically work with the system. Uh, if we open a Terminal and uh, ping Google, we'll see that uh, the internet will be configured automatically uh, just because we're using the network uh, interface uh, directly uh, from uh, our host machine to our virtual box. So that's it for now guys. Enjoy your installation and uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe to the channel.